Good evening, this is Bronwyn, and I'm going to be your host. Um, this is our new set for October, and I'm going to give you a little tour. Uh, we're going to be doing a series uh, in celebration for Halloween. Um, we are going to do uh, be telling some scary stories written by Loretta McCobb, and we will share those stories twice a week, every Monday, every Friday for the month of October. And I'd like you to come and join us, so I'm going to give a little tour of our set before we start our reading. So, over here we have Dracula's face. And then down here we have a coffin with Dracula and his blanket that has all the blood types on it. Then this is Nosferatu. It's a statue. Then we have a little trash can with Jack Skeleton on it. And then over here we have a little headstone. It's very cute. Then over here we have the fireplace. And then up here we have some decorations. Happy Halloween. We have some little mice, some dragons, some beautiful owls, some pumpkins. This says the witch is in and we have a cauldron here. And this, of course, says Happy Halloween. Then down here we have the pumpkin garland and our beautiful fire. Then up here we have a spider's web and we have some beautiful Halloween lights. What do you think? Then over here we have the Grim Reaper. We have a black rose. And then we have another spider web with some spooky spiders in there and we have a scary house and then over here is kind of my favorite thing we have an Ouija board with an Ouija little table with some pumpkins and then this is our floor skate isn't it just beautiful then up here this is where I will be sitting and Loretta McCobb made this beautiful couch and here is our scary stories book with all our scary stories and then there's the author Loretta McCobb and she also made this book isn't it beautiful and then down here we have Hecuba, and she's sitting on her little rug. So, this is me. And so, in a few minutes, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to tell you the first story. This is um, the first story of October for the Red Macops channel. Please tell your friends to come join us in the spooky event. And um, we look forward to telling stories and for you to come and enjoy them. So, I will see you in a little bit. Okay? Thank you. Good evening. We're coming from Loretta McCobb's channel. This is the inner workings of her mind, and this is going to be a series in the month of October in celebration of Halloween. She has made up eight stories, which will be told two times a week for four weeks for the whole month of October. And these will be scary, suspenseful stories. So let's get started with the first story. It's called The Doll. Emily was eight years old and was starting her summer vacation. As usual, her favorite toy, a stuffed bear she named Rex, was her constant companion since she was three years old. Emily and Rex went everywhere together, even on vacations, and he always sat on the bed, a most prominent position. One day, as Emily was returning home from the park with her bear in hand, she saw a little foot sticking out from beneath some bushes. She tugged at it, and up popped a doll. She stood about 16 inches tall with brown hair and blue eyes, but what Emily liked most of all was her smile, so warm and friendly. The doll looked almost brand new, but her dress and face were a little dirty from being in the dirt. Emily brushed the doll off and said, Who would leave such a beautiful doll all alone? As she looked around, she saw no one who might have lost the doll. So, she said, I'm going to take you home and give you a good home. Emily brushed her hair and her mother washed her dress, and before long, Emily began to call the doll Lucy. She would have tea parties with her and Rex, and before long, it was only Emily and Lucy having fun. But Rex still sat on Emily's bed proudly. One day, Emily put Lucy on the bed, and she moved Rex to a shelf. She talked to Lucy and told her all of her secrets, hopes, and dreams. One day, Emily and Lucy were having a special tea party with a real tea set her grandmother had given her for Christmas. It was real china with flower patterns in blue with gold in blue and pink with gold trim. It was beautiful, and Emily only played with it rarely since it was so delicate. Emily and Lucy wore pretty dresses, gloves, and big fancy hats. Suddenly, Emily remembered that she had forgotten the cupcakes her mother had made her for their tea party. Emily jumped up and told Lucy, I'll be right back, in her most fake English accent. As Emily was in the kitchen, she heard dishes being broken. She ran into her room, the tea set was smashed to bits, and Lucy was standing in the corner with her hand raised. Emily began to cry. Her mother rushed in and immediately thought Emily had broke the tea set. She said to her mom that she was in the kitchen, but she didn't believe her. So she was grounded for a week. After that, strange things began to happen, like things being moved around and waking up to one of her scarves being ripped to shreds. She also could not find her favorite pair of shoes, and her dresser drawers were always open, clothes thrown about, even though they were all shut at night and her clothes were neatly folded in the drawers. Also, she would fall asleep every night hugging Lucy, and every morning Lucy would be out of bed and always be in a different part of her room. One day, she even found Lucy sitting in the living room with the TV on and the remote in her lap. Emily began to fear Lucy, and soon she was placed on a shelf. After that, she told her mom she didn't want Lucy anymore, so she was donated to a thrift shop. 
That night, as Emily lay in bed, she glanced over to the wall and saw Rex sitting ever so proudly on the shelf. She jumped out of bed, grabbed Rex, and hugged him and said, I'm so sorry I've been neglecting you. You're still my best friend, and I will never, ever replace you again. She brought Rex to bed and snuggled with him until she fell asleep. Suddenly, Rex snuggled a little closer to Emily, snuggled a little closer to Emily, his smile widening with a gleam of evil in his eyes, and he fell asleep. So, how did you like that story? Was it a little creepy? Did you get scared? Let me know what you thought. And happy October and happy Halloween. Woo! So what did you guys think of that story? It was pretty creepy to me. Makes me never want to buy a teddy bear. <laughs> well, I'll see you next time. Make sure to tune in on Friday. We'll have you a whole brand new story. And welcome to Loretta McCobb's channel. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And happy... October, everybody! The best time of the year. See you later. Good night.